Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today I'd like to speak to you on a pure mind. In order to enter the kingdom, you have to have faith so you can fo focus and see what's clean. For we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. But in order to stay focused, one must have a pure mind. Romans 8, 6 says, For the mind of flesh is death, but the mind of the spirit is life and peace. So we should have the mind of Christ dwell within us. Philippians 2, 5 says, Have this mind in you, which is also in Jesus Christ. And having the mind of Christ will help you to focus on the Lord. Amen. Having a pure mind will, ha will gain, help you gain wisdom from a higher place, and that higher place is holy ground. And having a pure mind will help create a pure eye, and a pure eye will cre help you create pure thoughts for the pure mind. Amen. And it creates a want and a hunger for wisdom. And it'll, you'll see unclean thing. it'll help you see unclean things and be aware of the world's danger. Amen. And having a pure mind will open your eyes to God's holy word. Job's, Job 11 4, 4 says, For thou sayest, my doctrine is pure, and my I, my, I am clean and I nice. Excuse me. And once you're pure, you're, you're pure in the eyes of the Lord. And with a keep clean eye, you'll gain knowledge and wisdom from the Lord's word and have a deeper understanding in the truth. And with a pure eye comes pure thoughts to avoid temptation, distraction, and stay focused. And one cannot stay focused with a mind of flesh. Because a mind of flesh leads to danger. And when you're in a dangerous part of the world, you will lose your way forever. And also in a fleshly mind comes distraction. Destruction, I mean. Excuse me. And you will fall. And like in a race, you will fall. In the NBA, you will fall. And you can pick yourself up easily. But in the way of destruction, you will, you will fall, but you will not pick yourself up. Uh -huh. And since it's the people you're listening to, it doesn't bring you higher. It brings you down. Yeah. And the one that walks with the mind of flesh, Flesh is walking with distraction, vanity, yeah. and want for himself. What can I do for myself? What can I do for me? And believe it or not, that's the world's biggest thought. A want for change and a read for any, every, everything he has. Yeah. The one that walks with a pure mind drops everything that he has in order to enter the glory land. What can I, and he thinks, what can I do for Christ? What can I do for God? 